Hey what's up you guys, I'm just going to be talking about my PlayStation 2 collection. It's nothing too great, it's actually full of military games because it's technically, it used to be my dad's. Me and him used to play a lot of PS2 games, surprisingly, son and dad, father and son. And yeah, he brought most of these games and I inherited the PS2 after he got his PS3, I just asked him and he just gave it to me. I don't even play, I just have it like, I guess, for show. But anyways. Let's move on. First game up, SOCOM 2 US Navy SEALs. This game was freaking awesome. I love this game. We actually never had a online, we never went online, but me and my dad usually take turns on this game. And he played his most, second most. This is the second most game we played. I'll talk about the first game we played the most. And yeah, this is a really great game. The really great game. We got it when it was the greatest hits, was just a little cheaper. I believe it was like 30 bucks but anyways good game if you haven't played this game I recommend it it's a great game all right next game up brothers in arms roads to road to hill 30 not my favorite most favorite game it was okay it wasn't that bad but the the level of the difficulty was really really hard in this game in my opinion I had a lot of trouble in this game you, you really need your squad. You can't really pass the level without a squad member. If you lose even one, even one, one squad member, it makes the game really difficult to play. But overall, it's an okay game. I'll give it like a 7 out of 10. Brothers, brothers in Arms. Here's another nice game that I played a lot too with my dad. Naval Ops Warship Gunner. This is a great game too. It's the first in the series. We never got the second one. I heard the second one was about the same thing, but a whole bunch of more, more bosses basically. What this game is about basically is you build navy ships, which is which is really cool. You could build like you know, put a gun, laser, whatever you want on it. Let's see, you guys see right here. Here's the layout. Like you can put all these stuff right here. It's pretty cool, right? Check it out. You put all these turrets. You can build carriers, battleships, double battleships, battle carriers, which is basically battleships combined with a aircraft carrier, and do carry airplanes, send them out. You can send out your little UFOs, which is really cool. And yeah, that was a great game. There was a bunch of battles with huge, huge battleships. And I had a great time with this game. Give it an 8 out of 10. Desert Storm 2. Pretty sure most of you guys will play this game before. Back to back that. <clears throat> It's made by Gotham Games, and it's a pretty good game. Me and my dad always played it because it supported, you know, two-player co-op, which is nice. It was a little laggy, but it was still a great game, nevertheless. But yeah, good game. Basically like SOCOM, but a little slower. Frame rate issues. But anyways, 8 out of 10. Ace Combat 4. The game that got, us, got me started onto the franchise. Great, great game. You probably won. That's why it's the greatest hit. This is an excellent game. One of the best looking PS2 games in my opinion. First time I saw it, I was blown away by the graphics. I just play this all the time, you know. I'm, not sure, I'm pretty sure most people will play this game. It's a pretty big franchi bleh, franchise right now. It's on the 6th one right now. I used Combat 6. On the 360 liberations. But anyways, it's a good game. I remember playing against... Yellow Squadron. Oh, I hated them. They always freaking killed me. Here's the game that me and my dad played the most out of our PS2 collection. And it was actually the first game I ever played on the PlayStation 2. First time I came to his house and I saw that he introduced me to this game. I was like, wow, this game is freaking awesome. And it was when the PS2 was very launching. Launching too. Anyway, it's called Dynasty Wars 3. Pretty sure most people have heard of it. Maybe not, but... Koei went ape shit with the franchise, just started throwing out a whole bunch of series after the third one. In my opinion, this is the best one. Next one is Dynasty Wars 4. Everything else after that was crap, in my opinion. What this game is basically, it's a hack and slash game. You basically have a whole bunch of characters to choose from right here. My favorite was Mad Cow because he, he had a spear and he was quick. And it's based on Chinese history. The Shu, the Wei, the three dynasties, the Shu, Wei, and Wu. I doubt it's historically accurate, but it's a fun game if you like hack and slash and 
boosting the stats of your characters. I recommend this game, it's really good. Anything after 3 and 4 was crappy. It just died. We even got Dynasty Warrior 6 on the PS3, which is horrible, horrible, horrible. I don't know what we're thinking. Game looks even worse.